of this, and that is this kind of a soul building uh, approach to life. Yeah. Um, uh, that it matters that that we think about the soul because what we do in this life has uh, an impact on what the soul, our souls look like oh, for the rest of eternity. Could you talk about that a bit? Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness uh, that I inherited from my mother's side of the family, which was ravaged by it, I just found out. It's called generalized anxiety disorder. And I've been hit twice in my life, uh, last summer and 11 years ago, with an overwhelming sense of acute anxiety. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and the it, the it it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. And folks, that was J. P. Moreland admitting to Greg Cole on Greg Cole's show, Stand and Reason Radio, admitting that he has severe mental issues. J.P. Moreland admitted, you heard him, on live radio, STR radio, J.P. Moreland admitted that he had severe mental illness. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness, and the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. Wow. Here's a man that is one of the top Christian apologists in the world. You heard Greg Cole say that J.P. Moreland was his mentor, his main source. But yet, J.P. Moreland on live radio admits he has severe mental issues. He has a mental illness. Well, I, 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 have a, I have a mental illness, and the it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. Now, to be fair, everyone has mental issues. Everyone struggles with something mentally at some point in time. Everyone does. No one is perfect. But, and here's the but, J.P. Moreland once again is a top Christian apologist. Hello friends, Greg Kokel here on Stand to Reason, uh, back for our final hour with J.P. Moreland. And uh, we are discussing his most recent book, uh, The Soul, and... Uh, I'm looking for it right now because I have a pile of books in front of me that I just pulled off the bookshelf. Jay, welcome back to the show. Great to be here. A uh, professor of uh, philosophy at, uh, at um, my, my papers are falling all over here, um, at Talent School of Theology. I took my MA in philosophy under JP, and so did two others here on our staff, Brett Kunkel, Melinda Penner. Actually, Melinda graduated first. And uh, and we are all benefiting. The reason I'm scrambling now is I just happened to, during the break, pull uh, books off the shelf. Uh, here's Christian Perspectives on Being Human, J.P. Moreland, Body and Soul, J.P. Moreland, Beyond Death, J.P. Moreland, The Life and Death Debate, J.P. Moreland, Scaling the Secular City, my first exposure to you, J.P., yep. over at Simon Greenleaf University. Does God Exist, J.P. Moreland, Kai Nielsen. I mean, you're just, uh, you, uh, here's, uh, you've got philosophical foundations for a Christian worldview with uh, William Lane Craig. You have made such an important contribution to the general field. I'm glad that you've come out with a kind of a handy dandy. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Basic. Uh, book on the soul. That. Yeah, and uh, that's what we're discussing right now. Moody Press has published it. Now, what we've covered in the. He goes around the world promoting Jesus and the Christian God as the way, the truth, and the light. So while J.P. Moreland is going around promoting the Christian God and Jesus as the way, the truth, and the light, he suffers in severe mental illness. So severe, so debilitating that he said, you heard of that last year he couldn't even teach. That's how debilitated his mental illness was. 
that last year he couldn't even teach. He was that much of a mental mess. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness, and the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. But yet he still goes around saying, Jesus saves. J.P. Morgan, this is Brad Strong, I'm asking you, in all honesty, what does Jesus save you from? If you yourself admit that you have severe mental illness, severe mental issues, so bad that it's debilitating for you. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness, and the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. What, are, what is Jesus saving you from? You say, as other Christians say, Jesus is my deliverer. What is Jesus delivering you from? Again, you just said that you suffer severe mental illness, severe mental issues. The, the mental illness is so debilitating for you, J.P. Mullen, that you couldn't even work last year. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness, and the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. So what is Jesus delivering you from? What is he saving you from? You're going to die. You suffer from severe mental illness to the point it's debilitating. You couldn't even do your job. What are you being saved from? What is Jesus and God supposedly delivering you from? Christians always run around saying, cast all your cares upon God, upon Jesus. You see, folks, the Christian God and Jesus, is a, they're fictional characters. In the, in the fictional book called the Bible, fiction-based book called the Bible, two leading characters, the Christian God and Jesus, they're fictional characters. There might be a historical Jesus, yeah, but the, 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 the New Testament Jesus that flies in the air and disappears through walls and is supposed to come back on a flying white police horse. Come on, this, this is fiction. And this is why J.P. Morgan, Greg Ucol, and, and Christians, this is why Jesus does not save you from the reality, realities of life, the harshness of life. This is why the Christian God does not save you from the realities, the, the harshness of life. Because they're fiction. Therefore, the Christian, just like the atheist and agnostic, we all suffer through the trial and tribulations of life. All of us. Because Jesus, the Christian God, the super, and his superhero son Jesus, they're fictional character. They can't save you from the realities of life. They can't save you from life's trial and tribulations. J.P. Moreland himself has shown Jesus the Christ, and the Christian God, Jesus, Christian God, God, and whatever you want to call these superhero characters in, in the Bible, they don't, they, they can't. J.P. Mullins is one of the top Christian apostles in the world. Multiple degrees. He's a professor. And here he admits on live radio that he's so debilitated by his mental illness that he couldn't even work last year. What does that say about the Christian God, the Christian, the, the Christian superhero Jesus? Fiction. fiction. J.P. Moore is not being saved from anything. He's not being delivered. He even admitted later on that he, you know, he has to learn to think correctly. Hello, J.P. Moreland. Join the rest of us. We all must think correctly. Brett Strong, everyone, atheists, agnostics, Christians, Muslim, Hindus, we all must think correctly or suffer the consequences. Mental issues. You see? J.P. Moreland, you're just like the rest of us. You're not saved from anything. You're not delivered. You're going to die like the rest of us. You suffer trial and tribulation like the rest of us. Greg Cole, oh, you, you, you aren't delivered, not saved. Yeah, in your mind. And, you know, Jesus saves. I'm deli delivered from what? J.P. Moreland, the one in the top Christian apostles says, Dude, my mental illness is so severe that, that I couldn't even work last year. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness. And the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. It runs in my family. 
I have, a, I have a mental illness uh, that I inherited from my mother's side of the family, which was ravaged by it, I just found out. It all makes sense when you realize that the New Testament Jesus, the superhero Jesus, flying in the air, disappeared through walls, walking on water, and his, and his, his father, the Christian God, they're fiction. When you realize they're fiction, you can understand, okay, J.P. Mullen. We all suffer trial and tribulations. We all have mental issues at some level. Join the rest of us, J.P. Mullen. Join the real world. Because in fantasy world, you know, Jesus saves. He delivers you. But in reality, he doesn't. Because the superhero Jesus and the Christian God is fiction. Think about it, folks. Christians love to read Psalms. They love to read, the Lord is my shepherd. The Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. That sounds good. I know it. It sounds like, woo, the Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet water. He restores my soul. Dude, that makes he want to jump up. But reality, that's not true. Look at J.P. Morland. I'm not putting down J.P. Morland for having a mental illness. That's serious. I commend him for being public about it and seeking help, mental help, by mental professionals. He's probably taking antidepressant pills. Probably seeing a psychologist, a therapist. Congratulations, J.P. Mullen. Uh, you know, mental illness is serious. It is not a joke, so I am not joking. It's not a joke, folks. But my point is, that J.P. Morland at the same time runs around and telling people, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe in Jesus. You're going to go to hell if you, don't, if, if you don't accept the Christian God. You're going to go to hell if you don't believe this Bible. You're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. But yet, he's not even saved by these beliefs. He's not even delivered from his woes. So my thing with J.P. Morland is cut all this damnation. Stop, stop condemning people. You're sitting here on one hand condemning people to hell. You don't believe Jesus? Hell. You don't believe the Christian God? Hell. You don't believe the Bible? You're going to hell. Stop it. Because the reality is, look how bad you're suffering. So bad mentally that, that you're debilitated. You couldn't even work. Well, I, 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 have, a, I have a mental illness. And the, it, the, it, it debilitated me. I couldn't teach last fall. So I suggest to you, J.P. Morland, stop all this dogmatic Christian stuff. Stop it. That doesn't work. Stop it. You, 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 you're a mental mess. You, you admitted it. Work on healing yourself. And when you work on healing yourself, then you can deal with other people. And how do you do with other people? How do you work on yourself? You know, thoughts of love. J.P. Morley even said, I have to learn to think correctly and control my thoughts. Love. I got to do with Jesus and God. Love. Loving thoughts t towards yourself and others. Heal yourself, J.P. Mullen, and you'll be able to heal others. And you won't heal others when you heal yourself. You won't be healing others when you're going to go to hell. You're going to die. You're going to burn forever or forever darkness. No, you're going you're gonna to understand. Like Once you heal yourself, like, wow, well, I must come with love. No damnation of this hell. and you know, must obey the Bible. You must. No, you're going to do away with that, J.P. Mullen. Once you heal yourself. Isn't there a saying with Jesus where he says that, before you want to, before you deal with somebody else's issue, deal with your own. Take the log out of your own eye before you take the pebble out of somebody else's eye. Okay, G.B. Morland? Take the log out of, out of your own eye, your mental illness. Deal with that. Perfect that. I mean, get it out of your life and have peace, tranquility, love, loving thoughts. Then you'll be able to deal with a speck in your friend's eye, your neighbor's eye. And when you deal with that log in your own eye, the severe mental illness that debilitates you, when you deal with that and conquer that, you will be left with just love. No condemnation, no hell, just love. 
Love, love, love. This is Brett Strong, signing off.